how to troubleshoot a solid-state relay. Solid-state relays will get damaged instantly their input and output configurations are exceeded. Because of their unique design, this sort of damage can hardly be inspected visually and audibly from the outside, making SSRs harder to diagnose than mechanical relays. But with a few simple troubleshooting steps, it can be easy to check if a relay is working as expected or not. The relay we have chosen for the test is a DC-controlled AC output solid-state relay. For testing this AC output solid-state relay, things you need to get ready are a 110 volt or 220 volt AC source, for example your wall outlet, a 100 watt light bulb, and a DC supply, for which a 9 volt battery is more than sufficient. The 9 volt battery, as said before, will serve as the DC control voltage to be connected to the input circuit with positive pole connected to terminal 3 and negative pole connected to terminal 4 and a switch is also connected to open and close the circuit. On the load side, you have the 100 watt bulb placed in series with the AC source or the wall outlet and connect terminal 1 to the AC voltage and the bulb while the second wire from outlet is to be connected to terminal 2 to complete the circuit as shown in the figure. Now switch on and off S1. If the light bulb turns on and off accordingly, the relay is in good condition. Otherwise, there's a very high probability that you have a damaged relay and need to replace it with a new one. Testing an AC input SSR follows the same operation process, except that an AC control voltage, along with a slightly different wiring configuration, is required for the input circuit. The following figure shows a typical setup for such tests. One thing to be noted is that the input section of the SSR must be on the AC main side of the load. The relay will not work properly if the input connection is directly made at the output terminals because of the voltage drop. According to the given schematic, when the control switch S1 is closed, the output of the solid-state relay begins conducting current, illuminating the light bulb. When the switch is open, the light should be off. If this does not occur, you need to consider changing this faulty relay for a new one. Another functionality test we can do with a solid-state relay is made possible using a multimeter. There are two modes in the multimeter that can be used to test a solid-state relay. One is dial test mode and the other is resistance mode. Let's first take a look at the dial test. Any typical multimeter with a dial test function is sufficient for such tests. Place the red probe onto the positive input terminal of the relay and the black probe onto the negative input terminal. Turn the meter dial to the dial test mode. The measured voltage should climb to somewhere between 1.2 and 2.0 volts. The result may be slightly more or less, since different meters and models output different voltage and current levels. We should know that this method will only work for low voltage DC control solid state relays. Then let's go on to the resistance test. This test requires two meters, with one of them measuring the resistance across the output terminals while the other continues with a dial test at the input terminals. When the voltage supplied is removed from the input terminals, the multimeter shows OL, indicating an open circuit. When the input leads are placed back, the resistance at the output part will probably drop down to the milliohm or kiloohm level. These steps provided above are only a list of possible methods that might be used to track down a bad relay. If you have any other idea of tracking and troubleshooting a relay, let us know in the comments section below to share with our audience. Don't forget the product link to our solid state relays has been posted in our video description below. If you're interested in this product, please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Thanks for watching. See you till next video.